And this comes on the heels of a chaotic and frightening scene inside Destiny USA last night. We now have new information on this developing story. At the peak of Black Friday, shoppers were sent into a panic after gunshots rang out, striking a man in his leg. Tonight, we're mapping out the timeline from when that shooting and an apparent stabbing happened to how Syracuse police now have a man behind bars. <laughs> Possible shooting. I'm sure. This is the chaos and panic that took over the mall. At least two gunshots fired in the food court area, forcing everyone to evacuate or hide in the back of stores. No amount of uh, officers, training, preparation uh, will make you 100% proof from something like this from occurring. Chief Kenton Buckner crediting a quick response from officers to locking down the mall, finding a 20 year old victim with two gunshot wounds in his leg, and later finding that suspect. As it turns out, the individuals were involved in a traffic accident. After driving his car into a Centro bus, officers arrested 21 year old Kyrie Truax. They say he fit the description of the suspect. Turns out he was driving that stabbing victim to the hospital. This was the, the result of individuals who had a dispute uh, that, that actually that it culminated or climaxed there uh, in the mall. That's unfortunate. A dispute that ended in gunfire. I don't think that you need uh, a gun to go and purchase the, the new iPhone 11. The mall reopened Saturday morning, and while Chief Buckner knows many shoppers still have a sense of fear. He calls Destiny USA a safe place to shop. Don't allow uh, two or three knuckleheads to ruin uh, our holiday season. Both the stabbing and shooting victims were taken to Upstate University Hospital where they are expected to be okay. And while police continue investigating, they're asking anyone with information to give them a call. Their number is 315-442-5222.